welcome once again to to be honest. Is that the show, guy? Can you help her? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, that was a horrible intro. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad that he made it. Yeah, seriously. Yes, I finally made it. Anyways, with your guys, with your host, Christian Materi. Yo. Yo, yo. And Fernando Gomez. That's me. And today's show is another early edition. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you can tell, they're going great, so we're trying to improve on these. These For are sure. awesome. I think we, sure. get, we get better quality stuff in the morning. Yes, we do. Everyone's like on their game early in the I'm morning. So. That's what I call it, yeah. I, I eat my Wheaties, so I'm, I'm as sharp as a tack. Because I wow. totally know the show. You, you know how we were saying that you have old people internet? You just said yeah. the oldest people saying I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm, I'm sharp as a tack. Know <laughs> you know so, what we're going to do next week, Fernando? We're just going to call you. Do you have a home phone? <laughs> <laughs> it goes off the same internet, guys. Let me go Oh, my you, God. Next week we'll be uh, we'll be live via uh, a can yeah. of Campbell's. Yeah, in the string. In, in the, the string. <laughs> well, the reason next why next week I'll have cable, guys. Next week I'll have cable. That's what I'm. Yeah. Well, the reason why we're starting them so early is because uh, it's really pretty much the best time at this point. For now. Because oh, Chris, 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 Chris works like a slave. Dude, uh, as, that as hasn't paid his owner. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, more or less, man. 180 hours a week, apparently. That's what more, we're Yeah, yeah, for. more or less. You Chris, know, as long as I've known you, you've had like five jobs. <laughs> I'm always time. barely a, making it too. At a time. <laughs> but it makes me look bad, and I'm already dying with one job, and I'm like, oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. And I think. It could Dude. be worse. It could be Chris. Well, the thing is, I get I home. Think... <laughs> I get I get home at like four, and I'm like, ah, oh, play some video games, do do some stuff, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, I should get another job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know why you have that? You know why you have that in the back it's of your head? Because Chris. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, Dude, I can't believe he's kicking my ass and being so awesome, working three hundred jobs. I don't yeah. Know no, yeah. No, by next week I should be uh back to my normal schedule. Wow. Well, so no. Are, are, well, are you working? Have, yeah. Well, first of all, there's only one income coming in, you know, between yeah. wife and I. So, and you know, know. why did the other job call you in for the this week? Did oh, because uh, someone got fired. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I need to go in and cover, which works out great because I recently got uh, I owe I have to pay a ticket this month. Oh, lovely. So uh, four hundred and ninety dollars for Girl. making a right turn on a red light. That is so retarded. Oh my gosh. Plus traffic school, so it's gonna all add up. So this couldn't have the guy couldn't have gotten fired at a at you know, a better time. You know you know that game Hatred that we talked about one time? Yeah. That kind of stuff makes that game come true. <laughs> <laughs> it's just four hundred nine dollars. Why? I turned right at slightly the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The punishment doesn't fit the crime, dude. No. I I think I could speed going 100 miles per hour and just get a, a fine of like a hundred and fifty dollars yeah. ticket. Four hundred ninety dollars is what you should be paying if you broke a kid's arm. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not for making a not for making a right turn at a red light at 10 p.m. at night. Oh. No one's there. Yeah. It was busy. Busy. You're the same guy that after you helped me out in my car crash, you got a ticket with that stupid <laughs> flash cam. Because they caught you driving too fast, remember? You're like, how did I get a ticket? They have a picture of you eating a burger. <laughs> I think I was going to church. <laughs> I just finished oh, shopping out a friend, going to church, make a right turn, I get a ticket. Good oh, dude, that was funny. And you know what sucks? It was uh, it was under my sister's name, like the car. Oh, no. Technically, she could have gotten the ticket, but I, I so ended she, up. So she has to pay it. Well, I, she was in Argentina, so I had to. <laughs> yeah, it was a horrible, horrible yeah. morning. Hey, it was all the morning. So. Does your sister live in Argentina? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I keep seeing pictures. I'm like, man, she's. She looks awesome wherever she's at. <laughs> I, I don't know what city she's living in, so. Buenos Aires. Oh, Buenos Aires. Good yeah. Lord. It's crazy. Oh. She's been there for like 10 years now, 12 years, right? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully she gets married. <laughs> One day. We're, all, wow. we're all fasting and praying. For that. <laughs> She's like, I-, I met a mountain goat. Yeah. Did you meet a guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, she's, she's like dating this one dude, so hopefully it all works out. That's nice. Well, Did we'll she ever see. even come back to the States to visit? Or no? uh, yeah, eventually. I think uh, um, I think she could now. She qualifies for a visa now, so she might get it. Hopefully we'll see her this year. That'd so be awesome. We'll yeah, yeah. By the way, I just want to throw this in real quick. I was at a... Uh, Arco getting some coffee before going into work and I don't know what it is and I've this is I've seen it more than one time Hispanics dude when they get their coffee how many little things of cream do you put in the cup <laughs> dude, we like our <laughs> dude this guy was putting I, he at least he put like at least eight or nine of the little things he was mixing it up dude he had the the the, the half and half he threw in the, he threw in uh the the cinnamon one like a special edition French vanilla hazelnut French cinnamon. vanilla hazelnut. put everything, put Dude, everything. he had like you the biggest really... <laughs> he had the biggest smile on his face I was like holy crap dude what's up with that dude I don't you know, know but what? I, I'm the only yeah. guy I know of like church friends and Latin friends that drinks black coffee yeah I I, I, I go their like faces I I. I Ever since I got the telemarketing job, I've I've always liked black coffee. It's yeah. so good. It it's is, like, oh. dude. Awesome. But I was but, like, oh, no, go you know that, that guy just discovered that you get those kind of things at the Seven Eleven. Yeah, it's exactly. not. Thing. It's what he's like. Oh my god, I don't have to pay for any of this crap. Yeah, it's <laughs> free. Oh my god, dude, they're idiots. They gave me free shit. Well, yeah, dude, this, he had, like, the biggest smile on his face. Like, he couldn't believe it. He's like, crap, I'm stocking up on this. Yeah, you know, he's sticking some in his pockets. And <laughs> it's like, did I, and he, like, bring the wife who brings her purse. It had to be 70% of it creamer and then, like, <laughs> what, 40% coffee? Oh, 30% Next, coffee. Not diabetes. <laughs> yeah, I, it was crazy. I was just, I couldn't laugh, but I had like the like I really wanted to laugh. Like, oh my gosh, dude! Like, take it easy, man. There's enough, dude. <laughs> like, no, there's there's not like, yeah, yeah. It's not like a one day only type of thing, dude. You can get it anytime <laughs> you want. Just come inside the Arco. <laughs> it's here. So that was fun. Just wanted to share that with you guys. That's ridiculous. No, but it's true. Well, it's true. It's oh, funny. Well, you know. That made me think about uh, the customers that I get in my store, dude. And, like, freaking, they had this lady yesterday. She was a level 10 crazy. Okay. And she went to a store in San Francisco. And they sold her everything in the world. They told her it was going to be 95 bucks, see, for two phones and two tablets. She was going to pay $95 a month. And then when I broke it down to her, her bill was actually going to be, like, $240. She about had a heart attack. Like, oh my god! What do you mean? How does that work? I'm like, well, yeah, I like, that's totally how it works. Right? <laughs> Crappy and, uh, salesman, dude. Anything to get a commission. Yeah. Well, the worst know. thing about it is that she she looked around. She looked around. She was like, "Is I knew it was a bad idea." Cause they were all black. I was like, "Oh wow!" <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come? I'm like, "Well, hey, at least I'm Mexican. I'm I'm being honest." She's like, "I love my Latinos." And she, like, gives me this look. I'm like, whoa, lady, I'm married. Oh, dude, you. no way. You know what? No. La- Latinos are the worst salesmen, dude. Yeah, they are. Uh, They'll dude, screw you bad. over if they can. Yeah. Yeah, we will, but we, we tend not to. Uh, I I don't know. I don't want to make it a racial thing. Black people are worse. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't want uh, – I went a couple years ago when I wanted to go to the gym. I went to the LA Fitness one. And I swear that is the worst place. They literally try to sell you like, uh, like two, three years worth of like membership. And then I remember the guy, he was giving me so much crap, dude. And then he started insulting me. Like, you know, like you really it need also, it, you know? It also depends on what kind of Latino, dude. Because those are, there's some punks, dude. I, I would never buy from, I, I'm a salesman, dude. If I trade, I love selling, dude. I, that's like my favorite thing to do. I th- I think I have a freaking oh, I love it, dude. I can just get off on that stuff, you know. You are good. You are good. I love it. 
But there are some people out there that just don't have, it doesn't matter what race they are. If you don't have a moral compass, you can really be a douchebag. Like yeah. you can really screw somebody over. Like these people that she went to, dude, they have to, you know, I come from California. You have to respect the hustle. And they hustled her. They saw her coming a mile away, dude. They made it seem like they they literally went back to the back, put a bunch of expensive accessories on the phone, and it was like, okay, this is all going to be free. Have a good day. Sign right here. Oh, my bye, God. Bye. And her bill was going to be like $240. And she was like, I Gosh. never wanted to tell me this was going to be free. What happened to my old phone? I'm like, well, I don't know what happened to your old phone. And she's like, this is very ridiculous. I can't believe they did that. They did it to her twice. She oh went gosh. in there, thought she got a good deal, came back and got her second deal for her sister. And they did the same thing twice. And they were like, we had to put the crappy case on this because we didn't have the expensive case. So, Hey, why do you guys try to sell us a case when we get a phone? A yeah. $40 case when I know I could just go to freaking the Dollar Tree and get the yeah, same yeah. case. or The uh, dollar stand on the mall. Or, or, yeah, uh, or, or the 5 for 10. Fernando, just stop selling me cases. <laughs> I'll be I'll be honest. I'm I'm being honest here, guys. We is make not the name of the show. Yeah, go on. <laughs> we make about five <laughs> bucks off of each case that we sell. So, the phone will probably make six bucks. The accessories we can make five bucks off of each accessory that we sell. So that's why we sell you. We try to get you a case, a screen protector, a freaking headphone. The screen everything protector. In the, world. The, the screen protectors are the most useless thing. First of all, they never stick. Oh, dude, you haven't seen the new ones. The new ones are awesome. Dude, yeah, okay, there mine, you go, dude. Mine's good. Mine's good. I have a nice screen protector. It's good. You don't, don't need one. Have... You don't need one. No, I didn't. Oh, here's, yeah. I did. here's what I did, though. Where I went, it was <clears throat> my sister, myself, and uh, the sales lady. And, dude, I saw her Were you guys all in the room? No. This is not the sales that you were supposed to see. Dude, I, <laughs> it, was, it was the opposite. I saw her coming. I'm like, oh, my Lord, I'm going to get free things. <laughs> I am gonna get free thing, and now she's like, "And we can give you this." I'm like, "All this comes for free," because you know I really don't want this phone. She's making me get it, but whatever. And I just completely turned it on her, and she's like, ah, "Sure." And she's giving me like two cases, three screen protectors, <laughs> two chargers, and a car charger. Nice. I walked yeah. out of there. I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> the salesman, I really. Did. Yeah, <laughs> she got fired the next day. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't. The, yeah, she wasn't working there the next day. Poor lady. I, I I hate the ones that try to sell you Direct TV, like when you go to Best Buy. Oh yeah, those are the worst. Like, they and they trick you too. I was looking for the other day for like some some gadget, and the guy goes, "Hey, can I help you find something?" I was like, "Yeah, you know, I'm looking for this." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, let me see." He starts showing me around. He goes, "Hey, by the way, what uh, what carrier do you use to watch movies? Isn't that? Because you know, right now." And I was like, "Holy crap, dude." He's a freaking uh, direct best TV guy. direct TV guy. He's not even a best. And then, like, he starts talking to them. You don't want to be rude and, like, just cut him off, you know? So you got to listen to his whole spiel. Ah, sucks. Dude, you just, that is weird when people come up to you like, hey, how you doing, man? Oh, good. How you doing? Yeah, good. Hey, listen, uh, so uh, you ever uh, accept Jesus Christ into your heart? <laughs> I don't want direct TV. <laughs> you know what, dude? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start preaching the gospel. Like they, you're gonna waste my time. Okay, I'm gonna waste your time. Yeah. And I want to see them try to get out of it. And you know who else? <laughs> He's awesome. You know Jesus Christ is better. Have you ever accepted Jesus in your heart? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This direct TV <laughs> package. Will I, will I get TBN? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I always try. I like I like one time it was like these two little kids. Like well, they're not kids, but they're like eighteen, nineteen. And I totally told them like, "What are you guys they're doing with your life, dude? How come you guys are not in school? Why are you guys wasting your time selling <laughs> so, so direct TV?" <laughs> I say? was mad that day. I had to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "How much? How much are you making?" And then at the end of the day, I was like, hey, you know what, though? You guys are doing a good job, though. I'm glad you guys are working. I think, I think that makes it even worse, Chris, when you're a complete dick and then the like, but good job, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, the worst job I ever had was a telemarketing job where they literally told you to lie to customers. See? Like, you'd have to call them and be like, hey, you know this drill bit set? It's the best drill bit set you're ever going to use. <laughs> And the guy's like, you guys ripped me off five times. Yeah, I know, but this time we're not going to rip you off. <laughs> oh, dude, get this, like man. 
What about the one where, like, uh, I was looking for, like, I was checking out jobs online, and then uh, it says, you know, oh, we found this job for you that's located near your house. Oh, sweet. So I, they're all, well, what's your email address? So I put it in or whatever. And then next thing I know, like, I didn't realize, but I was actually filling out an application for, like, some online college. Oh, my God. And oh so they got God. me. So I was like, crap, dude. So the next day they call me. So a, a guy calls me. He's like, oh, you know, uh I noticed that you're interested in this and this. I was like, no, yes and no. Oh, well, I went on, like, the conversation went on for, like, almost a minute, right? I didn't right. realize after the whole minute, I wasn't talking to a human being. It was a robot, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, it was the best <laughs> artific- artific- artificial intelligence robot I have ever spoken to. Like, it, it was stuttering sometimes, and then, like, it'll, like, try to, it'll, like, listen to what you have to say and, like, reply to you. I couldn't believe it, dude. I couldn't believe it. What? You're like, you know what? I don't know. You want strawberries? <laughs> you want this? Do you want that? You're like, I just don't know. Well, why did you talk about strawberries? I thought we were talking about school. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, is this a robot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I finally... I'm talking to you normal, though, so it's like, yeah, so whatever. <laughs> Buffering. Yeah. <laughs> I finally get transferred to like a human being and then the like the main guy goes, Yeah, you know, uh one of my uh I see that you talked to one of our representatives. I was like, the freaking robot <laughs> <laughs> He started laughing because I figured them out, dude. Hey, why is it that like people on the phone when you tell them I, I wanna switch or I wanna get out, if you don't tell them a reason, they don't move on. They won't <laughs> let you go on. They're like but uh, what's the reason? I just want to move on. Uh, but do you have a reason? Yeah, I hate you. That's my reason. I don't know which one. Just let me go. And then they go, all right, well, before you uh, we, you leave, could you take a five-minute survey on uh, how we did? It's like, no, I'm not going to no, take a I don't survey. care about your survey. <laughs> the worst thing about it is when you, uh, when you call and they go, can I talk to a supervisor? Because you're, you're being an idiot. Well, we don't have a supervisor on staff. Yeah. Who's the guy behind you? I know there's somebody behind you. <laughs> what do you guys uh, do there? Do you just pass the phone to your friend and be like, can you be the supervisor today? <laughs> when they go to the store, we're just like, sorry, I can't help you. You call, got to call customer service. Here you go. I'll pack I, you over when we pass them over to customer service. <laughs> when I was yeah. driving 40 miles to go to work, I would see a lot of billboards, and I would get bored. Sometimes I'll call them. <laughs> like, there was this one about, like, get the surgery to lose weight, you know? Yeah. So, you call one of those, and it'll be like, hi, Maria's speaking, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll be like, oh, okay. And then I'll hang up really quick, and then I'll recall again, and I'll get another person. And I'll say, hey, it's Maria there? <laughs> and they're all, yeah, she's on the line. I was like, yeah, could you tell her this is her landlord? Like, she has to pay. <laughs> she has to pay, like, 20 bucks. One time I was a real jerk to this one guy. I go, hey, is uh, Bobby there? Yeah, yeah. Um, you want me to transfer him to him? No, could you just leave him a message? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, could you tell him that he's got to take all his porno magazines out of the closet because uh, the landlord's coming in to see the building? And stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, can you imagine, like, a couple minutes later, who who called? I don't know any Bob. I don't have any porno. <laughs> Why would we have a the inspector in my room? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well. That was good, guys. That was good. Guys, uh-huh. uh, let's take a break and uh, we'll come back. We'll continue chatting. Alrighty. Alright, we'll be back. Welcome back to Be Honest. Uh, Chris Fernando and myself here. How are you guys doing? Doing well, well, good. Uh, I do want to talk about something that I saw in the news yesterday. And I don't know if it's been officially announced, but... Tell me, what do you guys know about the Legend of Zelda? Zelda, a Link. He's a wizard, right? Apprentice <laughs> <laughs> uh, under Ganondorf. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we just, I, I just know him from, you know, he's a famous oh, character yeah. from Nintendo. Beloved uh, character. I never, I never played it myself. Uh, he, he runs around with a sword. Yep. What is he? A hobbit? I don't know what he is. <laughs> an elf. I know he's an elf, right? He's, an elf. he's he's kinda like an elf, yeah. I guess you could call him that. Sport. One of the key things about Link is that he doesn't talk. 
Mm, all okay. the other all the other characters talk, but he doesn't. And with that yeah. said, Netflix wants to develop a Legend of Zelda TV show. And they said that they want it to be like Game of Thrones, but a little bit more family friendly. So maybe less rape scenes. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's look what Netflix has done. They've done original shows like what? House of Cards, Orange is the New Black. True. Um, so far, they've been having hits after hits. Um, yeah. I think seen a, have you seen the Daredevil really trailer? Really no. Have you seen Lily Hill? No. Yes, Lily. Lily no, Lily. no. If you haven't watched but, the Daredevil trailer, watch that too. It's really good. Okay, I'm just saying Netflix has been doing really good with their original shows. Yeah. Um, do you want to bring in Zelda? The crowd will be there. Obviously, even if you don't know who Zelda is, you'll probably tune in just to see what the heck, how they're going to pull this off. I'm just, I'm just worried because he doesn't talk. And I don't know if they're going to sit there and be like, we'll make it so that he doesn't say much in the show. Like, that sounds mm -hmm. terrible. Maybe if they made him like mute, like have a disability. Well, here's the that, thing. That though. could work. Uh, Super Mario Brothers didn't talk. And back in like 93, they had the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> a great show. I don't know. No. If <laughs> I do remember it. And that's my other point. Like, remember all the things that Nintendo has put on TV? Um... Super no. Mario Super Show. There was the Zelda Legend of Zelda Adventures Hour, and then Zelda and then goes, the... "Excuse me." Yes. yes, and then the movie, the yeah. Mario movie. Oh god, that was things, awesome. awesome, dude. They are three zero in terms of losses here. Um, oh, that's true. Well, but cartoon wise, I think they're they've they've done well, kind of. I think they, there's a Mega Man cartoon. Uh, but that's there. Capcom. Oh, yeah, you're right. Right? I, yeah. I'm just, I'm worried because Zelda is very, there's a lot of things they could do, like Game of Thrones type things. There's a lot of that, that they could do because there's so much history in it. Yeah. But, but uh, you know what I would like to see is a Legend of Zelda, I, I guess a TV show in the world of Legend of Zelda, nothing to do with Link. You can have Zelda in it, just not Link. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like maybe just political intrigue in the castle. And... So like, which 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 story? I guess video game world would you want them to do if, if they did do this? Because well, they're I, still in the talks, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I have the book. Okay, so I'm a nerd. I have bought the book. It was it cost me like fifty dollars. It's called Hyrule Historia. Okay. And it's a detailed telling of the order of in in which all the games take place. So okay. it shows you the order they take place and the timelines. And they're basically all kind of interconnected. So you can put a TV show down pretty much anywhere. And it'll it'll be fun. It'll be fun to watch. Okay. And uh, I think that if you have one like where, where Zelda is a little girl and Ganondorf is rising to power, that, that'd be pretty cool. And Link hasn't shown up yet. So that'd be pretty awesome. I don't know. And then sh have them show up like in what, like season three or four or something like that? Uh, or? Just never, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can also have one where. Uh, what would you call the show then? You still call it. The, I mean, the the, the, the thing is named after her, right? Yeah. Um, but okay, hold on. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I have a question. Yeah. How 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 is this? Okay, because I've always heard I'm I'm not a big nerd like you, just a little nerd. Yeah. I'm still in my diaper stage. I'm like yeah. oh, I like nerd, but I'm not super nerd. Yeah, Anyways. Nerd, Bud Light of nerds. Fine. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Bud Light fan, so um, I never understood the whole Zelda thing. Is she? Because I know it's about her, not about Link. Link is the guy that he's the he's our hero that saves her. But what the hell? Why name it after her, not him? You know, I think my everyone's wondered that question until the last game came out, and they basically the last game that came out, uh, I think it was 2011. Uh, showed her sacrifice she's basically an incarnation of one of the goddesses and she has to basically uh sacrifice herself to save the land and as in honor of that every hundred years an incarnation of her the villain and link all come together and they repeat the story as part of like a curse put on them so it's all mm -hmm. based on her first sacrifice that's why it's called the legend of zelda gotcha it's super nerdy. <laughs> but but that's why they have to if they they're gonna make it about her. They're not gonna yeah. make it about Link. 
So I mean, I don't think you should worry about Link. Yeah. I think it. The thing is, is that they have to give him a voice somehow. Uh, and yeah. Sooner or later, they're gonna let him talk. Hopefully, he's not Mike Tyson. <laughs> well, he spoke in the cartoon. He did. He was a, an annoying little, you know, bitch. Punk. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is, there's so much stuff in 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 Hyrule. I think it'd be a cool show to watch. There there was a civil war. If you guys ever played Ocarina of Time, there's a temple that you go in that's basically a torture chamber. Oh, wow. Yeah, and there's, like, blood on the walls and chains and decapitated corpses, and you're just walking around like, this is a kid's game. <laughs> this kind of, yeah, that's what I was going to say. That doesn't sound like, that sounds like yeah. Modern Warfare, dude. Yeah, it's brutal. All right, so... I, I think I think it's going to be interesting to see how, how, they, how they take this and what they do with it. Um, I know a lot of people are excited. Some people are everyone, but I think mo- mostly everyone's kind of like they're worried. They're yeah. worried, you know. Yeah. You don't want to mess up Zelda for kind of loud. I just don't understand the logic behind it. If it doesn't seem like that franchise needs a revi- revitalization, you know what I mean? I, no. I didn't think making a a storyline on you know Doctor Mario because that hasn't been around for like ever in a day. Yeah. Or something like that. But like Zelda has always been pretty pretty solid in their fan base. I just don't understand the logic behind giving them another reboot to make what sure is, that everybody's into it, you know? With that no, said, yeah. no, go go Chris, go. No, I think it's all about money though, dude. Like oh, sure. right? Mm-hmm. I mean I mean with with that said, and yeah, it could be about money, but which which video game would you like to see as a TV show? Madden. Oh wait, that's the NFL. Oh my Man. gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> I swear, Fernando. Um, don't judge me. Don't judge me. You know what? Was... Honestly, I would really like to see a very well made Mega Man. Mega Man. Now there I... was one. Did you ever watch the old one? I never. No, not like a live action Mega Man. Yeah. I don't no, think they can make it. It will always be cartoony. Yeah, it will always be cartoony. I don't think you can make Mega Man serious um, um yeah yeah you could why not i mean Mega Man x it, those games are serious yeah I, it, 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 it'll be sucks. really fun to watch to see like leaf man and metal man you know like just like the kind of like out there like it may sound cheesy but I, I think it could be done okay um the Mortal Kombat ones, I know, uh, like YouTube, like some guy on YouTube was making them, and they looked awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a cool show. I think uh, people would watch that. Yeah. What about you guys? Um, for me, uh, oh god, you just threw this on me, dude. <laughs> Your subject, dude. Well, here's the thing. You know what wouldn't be a good one to make? Pac-Man, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. No, they have a cartoon of Pac-Man. You know there. You know what? Another bad one that they could make is Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Well, they have the Halo. I mean, I don't know how that one's doing. I've seen it on Netflix. Uh, I haven't clicked on it yet, but it's there. Like like most people. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Street Fighter, they had. Yeah, that was a horrible reboot. All of them. Even with the one with John Claude Van Damme was horrendous. By the way, I have that game. Street Fighter, the movie, the video game. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, it's almost like a Mortal Kombat type of uh, look and feel yeah. to it, right? Yeah, it's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> oh, well. well. We'll see how it goes then. Yeah. I hope, yeah, I hope, I hope for the best. And like I said, I think I don't understand what the reboot's about, but hopefully do it justice. Well, what do you mean by a reboot? Uh, they reboot. have they haven't said anything. In fact, they haven't even officially announced it. The information just came out. Yeah, I think they're trying to test it. They're trying to see if there's enough nerds that are going to be upset if they're going to do it. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll there see will, what happens. There will be there will... <laughs> an ocean of nerds. We got one already. Yeah, yeah. Just worried. I'm just worried. You know, just do a good job. Or yeah. Don't, don't screw it up. Yeah. It is our childhood. Yeah. Don't You're don't mess with. Don't, well, come on. I'm still playing him. Yeah, well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll let's take, take a break. break, and we'll be back. All righty. Hey, welcome back to another edition of TBH. It's TBH, right? Uh, yes. Fernando, you 
jack me all up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Super Bowl freaking weekend. Do I have to even introduce you guys? This is the third segment. I think we know who we're talking to. We got Mastermind Luke and on the base, Fernando Gomez. Could I um, use your last name? I don't know if I could. Fine. I don't think anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some creditors. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I know that name. I know that guy. He gives me money. They're, they're going to call the podcast. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're behind on your student loan payment. <laughs> I showed you here in 98, you ordered a, a lava lamp from a Circuit City. <laughs> <laughs> you never paid for it. Dude, you know, Circuit I, City's going out of business, by the way. I had, I, had a, I had a teacher yeah. give me a present, a lava lamp. He's like, you can put it in your room. I looked at him like, this is the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. I went back to Hot Topic. I didn't even know he got it at Hot Topic. I went back there. I'm like, this is from here, right? He's like, yeah, how did you know? I'm like, yeah, can I exchange it for anything, anything else? <laughs> what did you end up getting? I got the cool Batman headphones. It's awesome. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It's the ones you're using now, huh? Yeah, yeah. they're awesome. Oh, wow. All right. Super Bowl 49. Uh, 114 million views total. Is that what you guys show? Uh, it's uh, 111 views. Holy. During, million during game. Holy crap. The game peaked at 120.8 million during Correct. the final minutes. That's right. So there it is. 89% of people in Seattle were watching the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dang. What were the, what were the other people doing? What were they watching? They were hipsters, dude. Have you ever been to Washington or Oregon? I I. <laughs> They're like we yeah. don't like football. It's too mainstream. Seattle, we like doing we crochet. Football. We like lacrosse. It's yeah, much better. We like lacrosse. It's like football but smarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to slap a hoe. All right. What do you guys think of this, dude? With all like the hype of the Super Bowl, uh, hours and hours of viewing, putting like leading up to it and afterwards and all of this and all that mumbo jumbo espn said it correlates to 13,628 years of television viewing wow <laughs> really <laughs> what the heck dude no wonder it was the most like they pretty much shoved it down our throats that's crazy but it, it was to the point where it's becoming ridiculous. Like you can't look for that week. Those two weeks that the Super Bowl is not going. Like they're waiting for the Super Bowl. Everything's about the Super Bowl. Even yeah. like Brady farted in a weird way. We should yeah. report <laughs> everything about the Super Bowl. Dude. Could he have diarrhea during the game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no possibility. Stay tuned. <laughs> and, and and they, I mean, they they break it down and they look at scenarios that could happen and it's just crazy. Uh, I had a, a buddy of mine at work was betting. He betted with his family to see what Gatorade color was going to be thrown at the at the coach. Wow. So if you guess green or whatever, you know, you win like a hundred bucks or whatever. Wow. It's it's just unbelievable. But what did you guys think of the Super Bowl? Did you guys see it? I saw the half. Half, half of it because I was working the other half. Um, I was excited because I thought Seattle was gonna win. I really wanted Seattle to win. Definitely disappointed in their freaking last yeah, play. Freaking Luke, dude. He predicted they were gonna lose and they did. I mean, the whole world predicted it. We all wanted Seattle to win, but let's be real. Uh, <laughs> what? Let's be real with what, dude? <laughs> Seattle was win. the better team for sure, but they're not we gonna were. win. Yeah. They weren't going to win, dude. You know what? I think I have a feeling that Bill Belichick called Pete Carroll and was like, look, if the ball's in your hand last quarter, you owe me one. Don't. Don't run it in. Don't That's all it. you have to do. Yeah. Well, you, know, you know what was, was it, weird, That dude? was a dumb play. That was it a, was a dumb play. Um, it was I mean, first it was... down, dude. Why? Just throw the ball. You know, I mean, just run it in. You yeah. have three freaking downs. Yeah. You know what's the weird part, though? I don't know if you guys saw the last few minutes. Um, time was running out. And the Patriots weren't calling a timeout. That's true. They which was really... which was odd. Time, they didn't run down. I don't care. Twenty seconds, dude. And then give it to freaking the Lynch, dude. Run it. There you go. Twenty seconds. They have nineteen seconds to run back down to to the football field and make a touchdown. That yeah. I would have been so happy about, dude, because they weren't going to be able to do it. Do you think that the Patriots didn't call a timeout because they knew that if they put that much pressure on the clock, then the other team would be forced to run that play? 
God. I, don't I feel know. like I feel like if I were the Patriots in that situation, I would want the other team, the the Seattle, to feel like they have all the time in the world, so they don't run that play. Oh, that's no. a good I, point. I, that is I a mean, good point, man. I think right in front of them. I don't know if you've been to that stadium. I think there's a giant clock. Like you, you were looking at it. So I think everyone knew what the time was and how many seconds were left. That's true. So I don't know, but yeah, but you know, the guy who made the interception, he said that he studied the Seahawks. Well, you know, of course he studied. But I think it was kind of luck, but he studied. He he recognized that play. The way they lined up, he knew it was going to be a pass. So he was waiting for it. Oh, man. That's what he said. Hey, so the, then they deserved it. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? I'm kind of happy Brady got his, his, like, another Super Bowl win. And Aren't you, Fernando? You could just go home now. I think Fernando uh, got dropped. No, he's still there. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it. I don't <laughs> like Brady. He uh, looks like a freaky caveman, dude. He does. Look, listen, anybody, look. Okay, fine. I'll give him this much. He won four he won yes. four Super Bowls. By the way, guys, his his internet is so good. <laughs> <laughs> he uses old people internet. Something. The one with the big buttons. <laughs> um. All right, guys. Uh, I have right. to do, I have to bail out of here because I have to get ready for work. But let's call this, it a day. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Call yeah. It. Oh, I don't want to. You guys can keep on talking. I didn't. No, want we're you guys. done, dude. We are done. It's all, all for right. all or none for none. No, that's not how he does. Whatever. Something like that. Let's just end it. Fernando, yeah. end it for us, dude. Well, <laughs> really? No, let's say Luke to end it. Luke, you uh, end Guys, it. do you know how is bad it? I am? At, uh, everyone, Goodbye. this is, uh, to be honest, uh, um, welcome. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 no, but for real, uh, thank you, everyone, for listening, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Fernando, Chris? Yeah, take care, you Don't guys. Sure. Take care, you guys. Have fun at work, Fernando. All right, thank you guys. And I'm off to bed. (laughs) (laughs) Good night, Chris. (laughs) Yeah, and good morning to you guys. (laughs) (laughs) Bye.